And there's the guidance from Greg Popovich prepping his team. 2K Sports checks in with our loyal viewers with a broadcast from Denver. Home of the Nuggets, the Pepsi Center, the scene. Great to be with you. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg as 2K Sports presents this Tuesday afternoon broadcast of the NBA. And the starting group for the Spurs. We've got Dominic Wilkins and Robinson. And for Denver, they've got McDice and Ellis. Looking at the Nuggets, 34 wins in the Western Conference for this team last season. Pretty impressive, considering how good the West is. I'd agree with you there. It's about what they did the year before, too. I mean, you can pretty much chalk up these Nuggets for 35, 30, 34, 35 wins in the conference year. Now here's Robinson. Here's Robinson. Robinson. And the first one drops. These Spurs struggled a little bit out of the gates last season. And that can be expected, Kevin. I mean, a veteran team understands how they have to pace themselves into the season. So they won't go full speed out of the gate typically. Goes outside. And the guy spits in. And good off the glass as he lays it in. Here's Johnson. On 26, left in the first. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has an overview. Let's take it away. Well, Kevin, yeah, sure you know, the Spurs got off to a slow start last season, and that's something we hadn't seen from them before. But according to Coach Greg Popovich, this time it was a little bit different. He pointed to the adjustment of teaching new players' systems, saying, We lost a bit more corporate knowledge than I had thought. It's taken more time than I expected to get everybody back on the same page. And guys, as the Spurs continue to refresh the tap, that's going to continue to be a challenge for them. Of course, thank you for that. You know, it's never easy when you have a bunch of older vets mixed in with a bunch of first and second year guys. That dynamic is a real challenge for a team. No kidding. John's on top. Pastor Wilkins. Five on the clock. Got a hand on it. The Nuggets making a switch here. Oh, up high! Down oh, hard! A monster throwdown! Wow! Oh. What about the setup? I mean, there are assists. And then there are delicious dimes. <laughs> well, putting it up there soft and throw it down hard. Smith with it. Back to Ellis. Releases from the team. And there's another one for the Nuggets. You got to close out on that mid-range jump shot. And so here's San Antonio. Number 15. Barry's the free throw on jumper. Here's Smith. Where it goes. Go up. And so the end of one sees some big buckets. The Nuggets on top, leading by just one. Well, they're scoring with ease. They've definitely hit the ground running. Let's see if they can keep it up. And we'll be back in just a moment. A closely contested game here at the start of the second quarter. Here's Smith. The Spurs team was swept by Phoenix last postseason. First time in the Duncan era, they lost to the Suns Spark in the postseason series. And you can almost see it coming, Kevin. I mean, Phoenix was firing on all cylinders, and the Spurs appear to be a little worn out and not quite able to handle the high octane efficiency of the Suns. On the court for 10 minutes, here on the second. We've got Dominic Wilkins and Johnson. Here's Smith. Thompson up top. The three. Shots good. Yeah, thinking about their postseason last spring, like they won the Dallas series in the first. It looked like it took a lot out of them. Yeah, I agree with you there. I think Dallas taxed the Spurs quite a bit. And, you know, had it been a different team than the Sun, it could have been a different story in that series. But to have to run with Phoenix after being challenged by Dallas in that series like that, uh, wasn't a good matchup for San Antonio. All those canoles I had to pack up. Phoenix, very tough for the Spurs. You sound like an animal. It's pick and roll. The defense made a mistake of playing off him, and he drained it from deep. Here's Jensen. 35 seconds left in the second. Logan, shut up. Show us how done, big man. Make the termination urgent. The goal. Tops and passes to Smith. Logan takes him up. Smith outside. Pass to Johnson. Throws it up. Ball short. San Antonio trailing here. Here they want to hold for one shot. Robinson, that's good. Here's Smith. Now Johnson. Little man made the big rebound. What a play. It's all tied in Denver. We'll be right back here from Denver.
Hello and happy Tuesday to you. It's been a great day for NBA action here on HP at the Half. The Nuggets are battling hard in this one. Precision ball movement. They make some fantastic passes. Some great work by Antonio McDice. Lighten up that scoreboard. He's making it ring like a pinball machine. And for San Antonio, they're looking good in their own right. Effortless scoring, their field goal percentage is sky high. The human highlight reel certainly playing well so far. Lighten up that scoreboard. He's making it ring like a pinball machine. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan and Clark Kellogg calling your game. I'll see you next time. And it's the board game team pretty close. Prize fighters, a close ball game. And so here is Jen. Clark looking at the Nuggets here, 34-7. and seven. They were tied for the best home record in the last season ago. Yeah, they were unstoppable at home. Yeah, they played with great energy. Really gave the Pepsi Center crowd a show pretty much every time they strapped it on there. They're fun to watch. Very much so. They got the dice. And uh, that's a group in the game for the Nuggets. Here's Elliott. Buries the short range shot. He's got eight. When he gets it going like this, you've got a double team. That's your only hope. And so here's him. I'm 27. That's the third. We're talking about the Nuggets at home. And Coffee Honey won a true real home for advantage. It's with the opportunity for something else. Yeah, I imagine it might have helped out a bit, Kevin. I mean, but ultimately, they were just a level above when they were at home and could have won just as many at sea level. And I think they played really high level basketball at home. Robinson, that's good. That's unselfish team basketball right there, Kevin. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Trailing by two. Back in the down to Johnson. But D, I look Ill-advised shot there, no question about it. San Antonio leading. An ideal time to go two for one. Every possession counts. Back to Robinson. Elliott, he's guarded by Ellis. Cuts off the pass. The interior D was lurking on that one. Here's Smith. That's good from down low. And we're all tied up at 16. What an acrobatic finish. I love the dunk. You gotta give it up for that kind of layoff. Here's Jensen. Here's Ellis. It's all tied in the... So as we get rolling here, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Work for the Spice Work Report. Doris? Well, guys, the award goes to Antonio McDice. He's been a one-man wrecking crew out there for his team, as his inspired play has really fueled the fire for his club. Should be on fourth quarter to watch, guys. Thank you, Doris. Tremendous first three quarters. Boy, that boy's been on fire. There's just no other way to put it. On fire. Here's Johnson. On the floor with San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. We got Dominic Wilkins and Robinson. Here's Elliott. Shot misses. So the Nuggets will take it the other way. Number eight defended by Wilkins. Here's Ellis. Got a piece of it. They retain possession. Here's Johnson. Outside Robinson. And a two-handed slam. Boy, he's so graceful, so smooth when he takes it strong to the rim like that. You know, Clark, you can pretty much always depend on him for those kinds of plays. Yeah, graceful and powerful. Sure. And so here's him. 123 left in the game. Back loose. Down low. It's Hayes here. The defensive footwork shut down his path to the basket. And so here's him. Number eight. Max and loose. Second chance effort. Can't get it to go. Those swords will take it that way. Johnson, I'm sorry. Now here, whoop. Johnson, I'm sorry. And Antonio McDice pulls it down. But it's off. It's less than one minute left. Here's Ellis. Cut the line. Pays it up. Misses it down. This is not the sign of contest. You don't get your whoop. You gotta finish the job. Shot clock and game clock. Super Bowl six seconds.
Just off the That's to Robinson. Oh! And there's the two-handed jam. Again, they retake the lead. Incredible momentum swings. Neither team wants to give an inch. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're losing by two. Seven seconds left to the fourth. Clark, what are your thoughts? Talk about a really big possession. This is it. They've got a score here. They need a bash, but don't worry about the clock at this point. Make sure you get high quality shots and knock it down. I'm going to check in with Doris. Thanks, guys. I got just to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. He told them, fellas, this game is going to come down to who wants it more. It's as simple as that. How bad do you want it? Don't tell me. Go out and show me. Kevin, he's laid a challenge down to his guys. And so it's San Antonio who straight by with the win. And Clark, you know, it was quite an ailbutt. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. And about does it for Clark Kellogg and Doris Burke and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for watching. Now here is our Jordan Brand player of the game.